There are three main ways to create songs inside ProPresenter. The first is to import a PowerPoint file or a text document. The second is that you can copy text from a web page or from another document. And lastly, you can create documents by directly importing your songs from CCLI's Song Select database. First, let's look at importing files. So I'm gonna to go to File, Import, and then you'll see a couple different options here. We have an option to import PowerPoint files, uh, import text from the clipboard that we'll look at in a second, but right now we're gonna import a regular file. So we'll import a text file. And I have this song on my desktop called This I Believe, and we get a nice preview here of what this song looks like. And I can see all the different text that I have in here, and you can also see that I've put uh, headers above each section, so verse one and chorus, verse two, bridge, and another chorus here. And so we can see all of our text, and now let's import. This brings up our import dialog box where we can set how we want our text to be broken up into different slides. So do we want this to be on line break or paragraph break? Now I prefer to break this up based on line breaks and we can set how many different lines do we want on each slide. So I'm gonna set this to four, uh, no more than four lines of text on each slide. Uh, we can set what size our document is, what category this imported document fits into for easy filtering in our library, and then what template we want to utilize. So I can go down here, choose a lyric style like Helvetica full page, and then our last option is what destination is this going to go to. So do we want this to be saved to the library, or saved and added to a, our selected playlist, or saved and added to a new playlist? And then we could just hit import. Instead of just hitting import though, I'm gonna go over here and hit edit. And this will bring us to a reflow editor for our imported document. Now on the left here, you'll see all of the text that's on every single slide. And on the right side here, you'll see a preview of what all of those slides look like. And above here, we have all of the information about this document. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna type in our correct title. So this is this, I believe. And then we can set our artist of Hillsong. And if we knew the author, copyright information, year, or our song number, we can put that all in as well. And we can even change the template from right inside this reflow editor, which is really handy. Now you'll notice that our song has been sectioned out into different groups of the verse and chorus, verse two, bridge, all of that. Now the reason for this is because I put those section headers in my text file, and so I put in verse one and chorus and verse two, and those match the different sections I have saved in my ProPresenter preferences for groups. So since those matched, it automatically matched them up and sectioned my song off for me, which was really helpful and makes this go a lot faster. Now we can look at how it split up our slides here and you'll notice that it split up this slide uh, because there was a space in the middle of verse one, it's gone ahead and broken up the slides into two different sections just the way we wanted. And then the chorus, it put four lines on the first slide just like we asked it to and then there's only three lines for the the next slide and then we have our verse 2 which looks great and then we have our bridge and then we get down here to this chorus now we could delete this chorus because we don't need duplicates when we create our arrangement but this chorus is actually slightly different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this go to group label and hit other and we're going to type in chorus 2 and I'm gonna select my color and I'm gonna set it to red just like my regular chorus, but this is gonna be chorus two. Now I'm probably not gonna utilize this a lot, so I'm not gonna save this label and then I'll hit okay. So now we have our verse one, chorus, verse two, bridge, and then chorus two. And if we wanted to, we can add in more line breaks. So let's go back to uh, this chorus and let's say, I really want four lines of text on each slide in the chorus so they kind of match up together. So I'm gonna say four I believe, and then we're gonna put in the name of Jesus on its own slide here. So we'll just enter that down. And so now we have that uh, in four lines and we can do the same down here on this one. So we'll say, uh, in the name of Jesus is on its own line there in chorus two. Now we can actually add in new slide breaks. So I can do insert new slide break and I'm gonna actually do this twice. 
and we're going to relabel these. So I'm going to label one background and I'm going to label the other blank and we'll utilize those when we create our arrangement. So now that all of this is set the way we want it to, we could edit any of our text if we need to, then we can hit import. It's now imported this song into our library for us and now we can create an arrangement for this song. We'll do this really quickly. I'm just gonna go to the arrangement button here and then over here under settings, I'm gonna add a new arrangement so I can arrange this song. We'll call this default and then we'll hit okay. So this is our default arrangement and I can go in and say, well, I'm gonna start with a background cue. Then we do the verse one, chorus and then there's like a little instrumental section so we'll put that there then we go to verse two and then we do another chorus and there's another instrumental before the bridge and after the bridge and then we do chorus two to end out the song and then there's a blank at the end that's that's the arrangement that we're going to use for this song so it's really simple and easy and now our song is basically done and ready to utilize so now that we see how we can import songs, now let's look at the copied text feature. So I'm gonna go down here to my web browser, and then you'll see that I have some lyrics up for Pharrell's Happy, but we can import any text this way, not just song lyrics. So I'm just gonna highlight some of these lyrics here that I want, and so I'm gonna grab the first couple verses in a chorus. I'm gonna hit Command C or Copy, and then we'll go back inside Pro Presenter, and I'm gonna go to File, import and this is where we get to use our import text from clipboard feature so i'll click on that and we get brought to our same import dialog box again i can go and edit this i can change the title here so we'll change our title to happy we could put in the artist if we want we can go in and change how these uh, slides are broken up so this verse is a little bit crazy so we could start um, you know adding new uh, line breaks in here maybe add a slide break right here, and then maybe we wanna delete uh, this slide break and add that text back to this slide, however we wanna do it, but that's looking okay. So we got all of our text there and now we can hit import. So now it's brought this in and we can easily go in here and we can start sectioning this song off if we want to, to get it ready to be an arrangement. So we can go in and we got all our sections here. And again, we can quickly go in, create a new arrangement, and we can go through and set this up and have this ready to go for us. So maybe we're doing a double chorus at the end. And so now our song's ready to go. So now let's look at our last option of importing songs from CCLI's Song Select database. Now this only works if you have a subscription to that service, but if you do, this is how it works. And it's really easy and it's all right within the program. So we're gonna go to view and then down to song select. And we're gonna just search for a song. So I'm just gonna search for forever. And we'll see all of the different songs that come up for forever. Now I actually want this newer one. And when I click on it, you'll see we get a preview to know that it's the correct song that we want. And so now I can hit import. Now it's gonna bring us to our exact same import dialog box where we can change all of the settings and we can hit edit and get brought back right to our reflow editor. Now one of the really nice features about bringing in songs from Song Select is that it brings in the title, all the authors, the song number, what year, all of that information it brings in for you. Now we'll scroll through here and we'll see that we have a problem that um, it's kind of named this section miscellaneous one because it didn't know how to interpret pre-chorus with, with it written this way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this and so that we don't have that on the slide and then I'm going to right click on here. I'm gonna go to group label and we're gonna add a new label for pre-chorus. So let's type in pre-chorus and then we can change the color here if we want to. So maybe we wanna make our pre-chorus color purple and we could save the label if we want to and we'll hit okay. Now we can go down and we can also see that chorus was actually named chorus one here. And so again, we need to relabel this. So I'm just gonna name this guy chorus. And then we can scroll down a little bit further and you can see that we have this repeat here that we don't need. So I'm just gonna delete that and that'll remove that slide for us. And then we have our bridge here. We also have some repeat text. So I'm just gonna quickly remove some of this stuff so we don't, uh, all the stuff that we don't need. And we can label this. So I'm just gonna label this bridge. 
and we can see that that's all good. And we have this ending section here, so I'm just gonna again remove this ending and we're gonna name this tag. So we'll just go in here, label other, and we'll just call this tag. And we don't wanna save this and we'll just uh, we'll set that that way. So now we're all set to go here and we can hit import. So our song's been added here, but there's actually one other way that we can import songs from Song Select, and we can do that right from our library. So I'm going to go to the settings for our library, and I'm going to tell it to include Song Select results in search. So now if I search for a song like Mighty to Save, you'll see our library results. I actually already have the song in here, but if I scroll down, you'll actually see we have Song Select results. And if I click on Mighty to Save here, you'll see it gives us that same preview and we have an option to add this song. And this will bring up our import dialog box to bring in our songs from Song Select. <laughs>